Evening guys, um, time for the third and final round of the beers in the Homebrew Forums September competition. Uh, so there were to be American, well, it was, yeah, it was American Pales and IPAs. Um, first one tonight is Alcides 101's uh, Astronauts Breakfast. Um, he, he was wondering because Galaxy's a New World top, but uh, we said we'd allow it. Uh, been out in the fridge for about 20 minutes to help with the aroma. <coughs> um, I think they're all screw tops tonight. Um, let's see how we get on. Ooh. And he's put it on nice and tight. And there goes my manhood on YouTube. Great. That's better with that. So. Nice initial carb. Smells good. Um, it's 6% and 33 <coughs> IBUs. And Galaxy is one of my favourite hops. Um, I'd like to find a few more recipes that I can use it in. So this might be an interesting one. I'm going to work for that head a little bit. Um, again, trying not to get any yeast in. It seems to be packed down well. It might have even been bottled from a keg. <coughs> so, actually a nice finger ahead in the end. Um, sticking it reasonably carved there. It looks a little bit cloudier in real life. I'll stick the light behind it. Carbonation there. Um, really nice colour on it. Maybe getting a bit more of the cascade than the galaxy through on the nose, but definitely both there. <clears throat> oh, yes. Lovely big punch from the Galaxy on that first sip. Um, not an awful lot of bitterness coming through. <clears throat> um, as expected from 33 IBUs um, at the lower end of the scale there. Head's hanging around quite nicely, giving a bit of lacing. But that lovely big passion fruit flavour you get with Galaxy. Definitely the star of the show there. Getting a bit more on the nose now, <clears throat> but a really nice, big fruity hit to start. Um, not mouth puckering bitterness at the end. Really nice balanced pipe. Yeah, really nice, <clears throat> big, fruity, enjoyable beer. Um, I'll put some notes in the, the tasting note. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> letting the Galaxy be one of the stars of the show there, um, which is where I think it deserves to be. Um, really enjoyable. Thank you. Cheers. So, uh, kind of oddball uh, in the tournament. Um, ooh, but I'm just swallowed some yeast there. Um, there was a, a black APA by Dad's Elves, and this is McDundee's uh, Common People, which is a uh, steam beer, Cali Common. Um, and I think he said this was version three. Um, this was um, a bit of a race to get this bottled in time for the competition, he said. <coughs> um, I actually had his first version, I think. Um, I was able to secure some mini kegs that he was after uh, in Edinburgh and then um, he stays not far from my folks so we were able to do a little bit of a um, gum tree business but it uh, be nice to see how this one has developed um, I remember version one being very multi um, 
and it's not a style I'm used to. It was a nice firm bottle, reasonable hiss there. Not getting much off the bottle nose, but it's not supposed to be an overly hoppy beer. Um, it's pouring quite nice and clear, and we'll work a little bit for the head. I'm trying to make sure we don't yeast it. There was a fair amount of yeast. You can see compacted at the bottom. So hopefully it stays there. As I say, this isn't a style that I'm that accustomed to. Maybe should have tried them. Some other ones. Because <clears throat> I really enjoyed Mick's first one. Um... Again, a little bit dark, um, but I think that's just because it's quite new in the bottle. Decent finger of head, um, quite nicely carved there. Stick the light behind. <coughs> really nice amber colour to it. Um, a little bit murky, but I think that's quite new in the bottle. Um, I hope I didn't get any yeast in there, but there's something else floating a little bit, so sorry, Mike. <coughs> Definitely more malt forward than hops, but that's expected by style. Um, stupid update there. Um, I didn't see exactly where that finished, but as I was saying, definitely more malty and almost something smoky coming through there. Um, but let's get into it. Mm. Oh yeah, really nice sort of crisp multi finish. Um, yeah, almost a little bit of smoke in there. I don't know if that's some rye. Um, I'd maybe guess some Munich um, and the malt is definitely the star there and that's a really nice contrast to a lot of the, the hoppy ales in here to get big flavours from the malt um, and a really nice crisp refreshing beer like all the, the other IPAs and APAs but that is a really cracking brew and lovely to um, taste multi flavors and have the enjoyment of that refreshing brew with some different flavors and seeing the different techniques that we can get and all the everything that's that's coming there uh, so another cracking beer this competition has been really really difficult I've got one more to go um, but I'll, I'll go and score this one. But that is cracking. I think I might hit you up for the recipe for that just to have a, a change up. In fact, I think I'm going to want all the recipes um, because this has been a fantastic competition. Um, but really nice to have this in here as something different. Um, along with that black APA, it stands out as something a little bit different um, just because the, the complexity of flavours that you can get from malt um, Again, still quite smoky on the nose. Really enjoyable, crisp, but big, complex multi flavours. Um, to say, maybe a little bit of smoke um, from something like rye, or I'm maybe guessing Munich, which I haven't brewed with much. But that's a really enjoyable. Um, the whole competition's been great. Thank you guys. Cheers. So it's been hard work, but somebody's had to do it. Um, this is the final and eighth beer from the homebrewforum.co.uk's September competition. Um, this is Steve Strange, Strange Steve, um, Chinook Cent uh, Centennial and Oatmeal IPA. Uh, so similar to the first beer I had tonight. Uh, again, it's been out in the fridge a little while just to help with the aroma a bit um, and it's another one that has come out at six percent and it is going
going to be uh, a bit bitter because uh, it's coming at 75 IBUs. Um, really firm in the bottle. I can see a bit of um, <clears throat> bubbles there already, just for me taking it out. Um, and another very firm cap. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Good hiss. Oh, just from there, um, lots of cannon smoke, but the aroma just from that, um, ooh, it's having an attempt to escape. Um, the aroma there, uh, I think this, I can't see a date on there, but um, this was officially a late entry. Um, I know Steve was trying to make sure that he had something to enter um, because this is a, a favourite category of his and I might struggle to get all of this in the glass um, didn't have a look actually to see if there was any yeast so I'll try and hold that I'll take it out of shot uh, I think I've got a bit of my nose but... Um, let's just stick that in another glass. Yeah, probably some yeast in there, but uh, <coughs> waste not one hot. Uh, so definitely very well carved. Um, I think that's the end with the yeast in. Um, slightly hazy, which I'm guessing is the st style of. An oatmeal IPA, um, maybe a, a little brother of a uh, New England IPA. And 25% fall off rate on those, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, so a really nice bright orange colour. It looks a lot murkier in person than it does on the camera there, but you can see. Um, Shining through at the bottom. Um, yeah, big bold hot flavours. Um, I can't. There's definitely Chinook in Brewdog's Hot Fiction, and the nose of that is reminding me of that. Um, Centennial, I don't think I've had by itself, but again, it's another one of these big, bold American sea hops. Um, it's maybe a little bit young. Um, there's lovely hop flavors there. There's almost a hint of soapiness. Um, that you get sometimes with a, a young hoppy beer, uh, especially when they're they're big, bold, and bitter. Um, so really, yeah, <laughs> it's not apologetic at all. Um, it would not be the first beer I would hand to somebody um, to experience my home brew if I didn't know they were a hophead. Um, although my friend that works a lot on the west coast of the states keeps asking for hoppier and hoppier beers and that might be one actually to to challenge his palate um, yeah smaller sips are recommended there to um, enjoy the hops rather than have them um, disinfecting. Uh, that's a harsh word, I'm sorry Steve. Um, it's right on the cusp for me there. Um, I love the big bold flavours of it. As I say, it's maybe just a little bit early, um, but maybe left it another week. Um, 
but I think I'm supposed to have them judged all, but all judged by Friday. Um, this is Tuesday, so I maybe could have left it a little bit longer. Um, yeah, definitely akin to um, something of long lines of pop fiction, maybe a, a bigger, bolder version of hop fiction. The hops are, are definitely in your face. There's a nice bitterness at the end. It's a big, bold, punchy beer. Um, and just on that cusp of being too hoppy for me. Um, so if this is a light one for you, I'm sorry if I'm a lightweight. But yeah, um, Chinook is definitely moving up my to brew list. Um, it's coming through there really nicely now. Um, just bringing that little sort of grassy edge to it. Um, but that makes absolutely no apologies there. Um, big bitterness on the end. Um, and massive, mm -hmm. big, bold flavours to start with. A lovely big nose, as you saw when I opened it. It was just cracking there. Um, so I'll go and put the scores in for this one. Um, definitely a grower um, <laughs> uh, from here to here um, I've gone from going ooh soapy I'm not so sure to yes um, <laughs> so definitely could do with a little bit longer in the bottle um, I don't know if you've cracked a few of these yet Steve um, yeah I think the hops just need a little bit more time to, to mellow and get through there um, because it is really big and bitter, um, but definitely in your face. And if you wanted um, a big, bold, bitter, hoppy beer, then that ticks the box and puts an exclamation mark on the end of it. Um, this has been a fantastic competition to to judge uh, and to, to taste all the different beers um, from uh, the people that entered. Um, I need to score this one but I think from the current top rated beer down to what's going to be 8th place I think there's a difference of 6 points um, on based on Steve's uh, score sheet so thank you for putting that together Steve, it's helped guide me a lot um, now I don't know if I'm a generous judge or not but all these beers have been cracking um, and it's horrible to say that one of them is going to be in 8th place because they are better than an awful lot of beers that I would that I have paid um, money for. Um, so guys, we're doing a great job as home brewers and I hope you're enjoying your beer. I've enjoyed it, thank you very much.